three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll just grab any one of those, paste that into a new window. Elvis Costello Radio. So if I just go through here and highlight the first kind of percussion hit and just take uh, 0.25 seconds of it. So if I put 0.25 seconds of it there and then paste 0.125 seconds of it, which is half of that, and paste the 0.25 seconds again, paste the 0.125 seconds. So this is one second now, and this should be on a rhythm. Put in 0.125 seconds of silence. Put it twice, so it's 0.25 seconds of silence. Now go back in the program that stretches it. I'll just get a little kind of pace keeper thing going. I'll put in the minimal version. You can put a, a beat underneath that. And then I'll put in the, the extended version. And they're kind of layering over each other so you can hear the ones that fit with each other. And I could slow either one of these down, so if I wanted to go, or speed them up. So if I wanted to go this twice the speed and increase the pitch. So that pretty much sounds nothing like that original song. And I would say that's roughly the equivalent of, you know, taking a familiar Beatles melody on your guitar and rearranging the notes and putting a new guitar pedal sound on it and calling it your own song. So obviously this is kind of becoming its own entity beyond the uh, Elvis Costello song. Um, and yeah, and then you can just find as many things as you want to try to match up with that. So that is the song that came from this. That is now. And that was kind of in five minutes or so. So, I mean, you can kind of definitely, uh, you know, if you spend a few hours or years doing that, you can kind of go places with it.